Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to do a basic gel nail polish application as well as how to apply this cute diamond nail charm, gold studs, and Savorsky crystals. Here are the products I'll be using, a clear top coat by Color Club, Structure Base Coat Gel Polish by Red Carpet, Simply Adorable Gel Polish by Red Carpet, Brilliance Seal and Shine Top Coat Gel Polish also by Red Carpet, Sally Hansen's Nail Color in Strobe Flash, Diamond Nail Charm and Gold Nail Studs from Daily Charm, and Pink Sephorsky Crystals. So I've already prepped my nails by filing and shaping as well as buffing the surface and wiping down with some acetone to prep my nails for the gel nail polish. First I want to use the red carpet structure base coat. You want to make sure that you apply a nice thin but even layer and you also want to avoid it from touching your cuticles. And if you get any on your skin, feel free to just remove that with an orange stick or a paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to put it under my red carpet professional light for 45 seconds. Okay, now that the base coat has cured, I'm going to apply the first layer of color. Today I'm using Red Carpet Manicure Gel Nail Polish in Simply Adorable. It's a very nice baby pink color. So again, you want to make sure that this layer is thin and also nice and smooth. Okay, once you've done applying, you can cure it under the light again. So now the first layer of color has cured, I'm going to add a second coat. Alright, so let's cure this coat. So this is the second coat cured and I still find it not opaque enough for my liking so I'm going to add a third layer and I'll be right back. Alright, so after the third coat, the color is looking great. I'm going to seal everything off with the Red Carpet Manicure Gel Polish in Brilliance. This is the Seal and Shine Top Coat. And for this top coat, you want to make sure that you get the tip of your nails to really seal in that color. But you also want to make sure, as with the layers before, that everything is nice and even and smooth. Alright, so let's put this under the light to cure. Now that the top coat has cured, you'll notice that there is a sticky film layer on top. And you just want to gently remove that with some acetone on some lint-free paper towels. Okay, and you can check by touching it. If it's nice and smooth, then you're good to go. So I finished applying the gel nail polish to all my nails. And now I'm going to add the Sally Hansen nail polish and strobe flash to my middle nail. Okay. 
So I've let the nail polish dry and added a top coat. And now I'm going to add a Savorsky crystal. So I'm gonna put a little dab of nail glue right in the center of my nails. And I'm gonna pick up my crystal and set it on top. So you just wanna gently push down to make sure that it's secure. Next, I'm going to take this diamond nail charm, turn it over, and put some glue on it. So before you place the glue, you want to try to fit this on your nail first to see where it sets best. So you can determine where to put the glue. So I also want to put some glue on my nails directly so it's easier to place. Setting, you might want to add some glue to the sides so it really sticks on there. As that charm is setting, I'm going to add some studs to the rest of my nails. So again, just want to apply a little dot of nail glue. And pick up the studs that you'll be using. Just place them on top and gently press. So I think I'll be putting another one on this one. So again, just a small dab of glue. Pick up your stud and place. And press. So this is the final look. The diamond charm in the middle did take a few more minutes to dry, so please be sure to give it some time. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye!